Next security control is web application firewall. And here you have a list of rules that are all WASP top 10 based and are grouped in these categories that are called attack groups. So for this specific attack group, command injection, I can set things like exceptions based on different match criteria. You can get additional information about this attack group. Um, you could get uh, any details in case there are any pending uh, tuning recommendations to apply. And when you're adding the exceptions, you have the option to do this at a group level or rule level as well. Um, so based on our rule level, I'm just going to specifically choose this one. And uh, this is the match criteria for you to implement the exceptions. So in this case, just to give you a quick example, I'm going to do one based on user agent and I'm going to add the user agent um, header here. And then whenever this value is present, then um, this information will be excluded from evaluation or inspection. So um, this is uh, how you could enforce this type of exceptions. There is another option for you to switch to advanced exceptions as well if needed. Um, and this would apply to certain conditions you would like, uh, additional conditions that you would like to add to this specific um, exceptions so this is the list of conditions if there are any ips that you would like to exclude again for this specific rule inspection then you can go ahead and do that um, after you have finished making your changes uh, with all of the exceptions that you need to add just make sure to save them just going to click on cancel for now and then um, continue adding any additional exceptions you need um, last, uh, our customers also have the option to use the penalty box in combination with the attack groups that are in this case in deny mode to have clients request denied for 10 minutes um, if the penalty box is set to a deny mode as well. Um, and if the client triggers rules on attack groups again in deny mode, as previously mentioned, then the penalty box will um, block this client uh, request um, from having access to the application for 10 minutes. After you have made all of your changes and saved, you can deploy to staging to test and then move to production.